Hey everyone, this is Lisa from Life in Layouts and I am back with a, another Muggles Wizarding Adventures. Of course, I'm going to be using the Echo Park Witches and Wizards collection. I'm going to be using a sketch from Scrapbook and Cards today. This is their single to double class and I'm actually only going to be using the single page sketch and layout for this layout that I'm doing today. These photos are of Eli trying butterbeer for the first time. I had this paper that I had gutted from a previous layout that I decided I didn't want to use. I put it back with the rest of the paper because I knew that I would be able to use it later on for another layout. The sketch calls for basically three pieces of paper. The sketch calls for the papers to be three by 12, but because I had that border edge, I did go ahead and cut my papers down to three and a half by 11. Then the sketch calls for two border strips in between the seams. I decided to cut out this black paper using my scallop border punch and then a blue plaid paper. I do pull out my Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Vintage Photo to ink up all of the edges of the paper. I realized later on that the paper was super dark and I probably should have went with a little bit of a lighter color. I did decide to use my Tim Holtz Distressor on the brown. The brown that I'm using is a coordinating piece. I think it's by Reflections, which is a Michaels brand, and it has like a white core. I did rough up the edges of the brown paper on all four sides. Because I had gutted this paper and then I'm going to put the strips on top of it, I decided to put a little bit of adhesive on my mat and then adhered the paper to the mat because it was so thin and it just kept moving around. Then I used my T-square ruler to make sure that each one of the papers were lined up. And of course I struggle a little bit with it trying to get it down straight. And because the centerpiece was gutted, it made it a little bit more difficult. Once I got the red star paper and that banner paper down, I decided to go ahead and add the black border strip before I added my brown paper because I really wanted the distressed edges to show. So I put the border strip behind the brown paper and then for this blue border strip, I actually put it just a little bit above the paper so that you can still see the distressed edge underneath the blue border strip. Of course, I used some washi tape on the back of my layout since I had so many pieces going on here. And now I have the bones of my layout complete. I'm gonna use two photos on this layout and I definitely have the word photo in quotation because what I ended up doing was taking four of the photos and put them in the Project Life app so that I had four photos on a four by six. So those photos are a two by three and I'm going to leave them together as if they were one photo. The facial expressions of Eli trying the butterbeer in the first one, he's like looking at me like, come on, take this picture. Cause he had a ton of pictures taken of him that day. And then him actually tasting the butterbeer for the first time and his eyes getting really wide. It was just a really cute shot. So I wanted to make sure that I included all four of them. Because the paper was so dark and these photos are kind of dark because he's wearing his Ravenclaw shirt, I backed both of the photos on white cardstock and then used the Distress Ink to distress the edges. I am going to put the main photo flat to the layout and then these four smaller photos will be up on Fun Foam and at an angle next to the main photo. I'm looking through the six by six paper pad because the sketch calls for two scallop circles, one at the top and one at the bottom. Because he is a Ravenclaw, I decided to go ahead and use the blue plaid. I used my scallop circle punch to punch out a circle and then adhered it to the top part of the layout. I thought about adding the wands to the bottom part, but it didn't really go and it got lost with the banner piece. So I needed more of a solid color. So I did pull out the Gryffindor red color and then again, cut it out with my scallop circle punch. Once I inked up my edges, I added it to the bottom left of the layout. Then I'm gonna look through the sticker pieces and find a sticker that I'm gonna add to the top there, the top right, and it doesn't end up making it on the layout. It stays there for quite a while. What I've come to realize is that these stickers and embellishments, I think I've mentioned it before, they're not specific. So I decided I'm just gonna go with it. There's nothing in there about butter beer. There's no real drinks in there. I mean, there's like potions, but not really drinks. 
And butterbeer, I feel like, is a huge part of Harry Potter. I know in the books there are several mentions of it, and Harry, Hermione, and Ron often drink butterbeer. So for there not to be any reference to it on the sticker sheets or in the embellishment packs, it was kind of disappointing. So in the bottom cluster, I added a broom as well as a luggage piece, and then also Hedwig in his little cage there. And then I decided to put myths and fantasy book up on Fun Foam. I do use my silhouette to cut out the word butterbeer, and I use that brown cardstock from Reflections that I put in the center, and it is super, super dark. I lay it down on the red and you cannot see it at all. I decided to move that banner piece over to the right hand side because it didn't really fit well with the butterbeer. And then I'm going to ink up the edges of the butterbeer, which makes it even darker. I don't even know why I did that. I continue to move forward. I was actually going to use my glue press to put them down. And then I was like, mm, no, this isn't gonna work. So I went ahead and pulled out my silhouette again, and I'm going to cut out the word butterbeer in white. I'm still going to use the brown, but I'm just gonna back it in a white and I'm gonna shadow it a little bit, like move the white over a little so that you could definitely see it. While that's cutting out on my silhouette, I decided to work on the rest of the title. The title is just going to be First Time Trying Butterbeer. So I used the Simple Stories Color Vibe Tile stickers to spell out the word First Time Trying. And as I'm looking at the layouts, the word trying is spelled wrong. I forgot the N, so I'm going to have to correct that. And I've already taken photos. I'm not going to retake the photos. Just know that I know that it's spelled wrong. I looked at it like three times and I was like, it doesn't look right. As I'm recording this video, I keep looking at it and I'm like, what is wrong with that word? Yeah, I spelled it T-R-Y-I-G. I forgot the N. After my silhouette finished cutting out the word butterbeer three times in the white, I zoomed in a little bit. This technique is something that Nicole does over on Collie Bean. She leaves her letters on a sticky mat, which makes it easier to adhere them all together. And since I was trying to make them have a little bit of a shadow, it looks like I just didn't line them up correctly, but I really wasn't doing that intentionally because I wanted to make sure that they could be seen. You can definitely see it a little bit better now on film, but it is really predominant in real life. So I'm gonna use my glue press to get all of those down. And I did put first time trying up on foam strips. So just peeling the backing off and then adhering those down. Once I get the title down, then I'm trying to figure out the cluster in the upper right hand corner. I bring in a witch's hat and then that's when I realize that that banner piece just isn't going to work. So I put it back on the sticker sheet looking through the stickers, trying to find something else. And I found this sticker that's also in blue that says 100% magic, which I felt was fitting since he definitely said it was a very yummy drink. I do decide to put that 100% magic up on Fun Foam. I do my journaling off camera and it just says, seeing Eli dive into his first butterbeer was pure magic. His expression, priceless. It was love at first sip. I pull out my black color box and add black enamel shapes in both of the clusters. I add a heart, an arrow, and a couple of enamel dots. And then that is it for this video. Here is my final layout with the word trying spelled incorrectly. I'm going to go correct that now, as well as some close-ups. If you enjoyed this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. If you haven't done so already and you want to see more double page layout inspiration, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope that you have a scrappy day.